He damn near smoked you. We see you on twerk. It's your boy James. Trust the process. I want to just talk about protecting your peace and sometimes it's not easy to protect your peace. Sometimes we have to go through those hard times in order to appreciate the good times. Stop being dirty. It's your boy Jim with the stop being dirty. Stop eating dirty. Trust the process. Protect your peace. Link in the bio for all the merchandise. If you're watching right now, I appreciate that and I'll appreciate if you hit that subscribe button now yesterday i completed my 48 hour fast man it, it had a couple tough 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 spots in between the day day one wasn't so bad but day two especially considering i try to work out both those days being on the fast i'm not one of fast cardio fast lift none of that so that was a little difficult for me but overall man i feel great just having the discipline to not be able to not have to eat for two days it really changes your mentality because now anytime i feel like overindulging or feel like i want more of something that i need i'll think back and be like do you really need more of what you just ate when you already just did two days without eating anything so that sh mental strength right there is really dope plus many other health benefits that i got from it i just want to say whoever's out there who has to fast for religion or has done this multiple times i salute to you because it was not easy but i love angry fish I was watching a blog, it was titled uh, um, Chilla Jones, let me talk to you. So Angry Fan was talking about um, basically how Chilla Jones said that, so, so URL made a tweet and URL basically said that we're gonna do a URL award show, something like that. Where we're gonna do the best battle of the year, the biggest moment of the year, the best battler of the, something, uh, things like that. And the question came up was, should there be a media award? And Sue Surf was real adamant on how it should be. And Chilla Jones basically was writing how it shouldn't be. He's like, media doesn't deserve an award. I don't know if he used those words. He said, he do, basically, he doesn't think media should get an award. Now, I wrote back, I agree with Chilla Jones. Fuck the media. The award should just be for the battle rappers. Chilla Jones wrote back to me saying, and this is coming from maybe the best to ever do it, which I, I appreciate the compliment. Not to say it's true, not true. I just, that's dope to even be mentioned with any of, with, with the other big dogs in the in the media. You know what I'm saying? The Vodafies, the Piper Boy Williams, the Angry Fans. You know what I'm saying? Plenty shows out there. You know, if you consider hip hop is real, but I don't really say hip hop is real and, and 15 Minutes of Fame, those are like, that's like media. That is literally media. Like bloggers are like all media and slash bloggers, you know, like a blogger, someone who does this, you know, media, someone who does this. That's what I think. Now we can find out the definition of which I really think that is actually because we're all considered media. But I think those specifics change. Good to angry fan. I'm getting there. So. um So now basically to say why I said forget the media, just give it to the battle rappers is just because. It was a URL award. URL. They're not doing Battler of the Year in Battle Rap. Best Punchline of the Year in Battle Rap. This is for URL. URL award. So how are you going to give any of the names I just mentioned a URL media award if all of us talk about all the other leagues? Like, that's what I said. Like, what is it going to be? An award between Sue Surf, Anwar, uh, and Tony Bro? You know what I'm saying? Like, like salute to all them. You know, throw Henny Man in there, but I believe he does other. He talks about other leagues here and there. I don't. I don't. You know, maybe Tony Bro does also. But when I think of Anwar Susurf and Tony Bro, they're very, very adamant and based uh, based on URL. They just talk about URL. All the other media and bloggers talk about all the other leagues and battlers on other leagues and other leagues cards and predictions and recaps and shit like that. So that's what I really meant by forget the media because this is who would be in it. How are you going to give a URL award to if we talk about everybody? That's what I was confused about. And also, I just feel like it, it deserves its own entity of a blogger awards. You know what I'm saying? Who's the funniest blogger? It shouldn't just be who's the best blogger. No, who's the funniest blogger? Who's the most successful blogger? Who's the most 
uh, uh, charismatic, who has the best recaps, who has the best predictions. Bloggers deserve their own award show. If you really want to get into it, for real though, from, from all the categories I just mentioned, you have a whole blogger award show, an entire show with bloggers. Real shit. So, but now, so Angry Fan was mentioning, um, Angry Fan had mentioned, um, I'm trying to get like, uh, where I'm going to do a thumbnail, probably like that. It's a good thumbnail. Angry Fan had, Angry Fan had mentioned, um, oh, and Jim's, I heard you say, that F the media, and he's like, yo, but uh, getting awards, but now I gave you the reason why, but but he still said this, and he says, and he says, but Jims, let me say something. He said, first of all, salute to your channel and what you do with the protected piece, the positive um, um, outlet that I have. He said, he says my channel's fired. He said, but let's not act like media didn't save you. If it wasn't for media, you would not have been or are as relevant as you are in Battle Rat. Your channel and you blogging is what made you relevant more relevant in battle rap and kept you relevant and all i gotta say to that caps honestly you're 100 percent right you're 100 percent right 100 percent right angry fan is 100 percent accurate with that media saved me years ago even before y'all realized it me having a channel as a battle rapper Getting booked on these leagues that don't that that can use the promo, all leagues can use promo. But I'm talking about the London League, Australia League, RBE at the time. These leagues that weren't making so much noise but needed and, and could use all the promo they can get for their cards. When you have a battler who's battling on your card, that you could promote their battle for battling on your card, also gets to talk about the entirety of of the card they're on on your channel plus their own battles so they're promoting their own battle which all leagues like battlers to do but i'm also promoting the whole card in the prediction blog so i'm gonna predict prediction blog promo then i'm gonna go and battle that night then after i'm gonna have a recap so i'm basically giving you three outlets of what you get out of booking gyms the battler himself and a prediction and recap that shit put me above and beyond. Above and beyond. King of the Dot loved that about me. Uh, the league that booked me in London uh, uh, loved that about me. Australia literally contracted that for me to have to do that on their league. RBE loved that about me. All leagues loved when I did that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, I'm, around that time... Um, I remember ARP used to say like, yo, you should, you know, make sure you get more in your blogging bag. Like that shit really puts you over. Like he, he's seen that, you know, back then when I seen it, he's, he has seen that as well. And also gave me more of a push to do that. Him coming from a league owner's perspective, I looked at it as like, yo shit, if he thinks that way, you know what I'm saying? Everyone probably, and, and then, and then it worked because he was bigger. His channel, though it wasn't as big as the time, was bigger than the other smaller leagues under him that I was getting booked on. You understand? So the, the London League, that, that helped me. Now, as far as also, that's just one part of how media uh, uh, helped me. Now, from what Katz is saying, it's true too. Like, so put it like this, right? It's almost been, it's been, it's been a long, it's been months, like, right? It's been like six months since me and Ace battled. Prior to that, I didn't. I battled Your Honor like nine months before that. Prior to that, I didn't battle in two years. Two year gap, then a battle. Nine year gap, uh, excuse me. Two year gap, then a battle. Nine month gap, then a battle. Now, currently we're going on five, six months since me and Ace. But there's never a comeback feel for me because I'm relevant there is no OJ yeah you'll have some fans some bloggers some media people my supporters that are gonna be hyped to see me back in the ring if and when I do get back in the ring they're gonna be hyped the fact that they've seen me this much they they love to see me in there too a lot of people love me as a bad rapper love me as blogger love me as both one or the other doesn't matter but the point is the hype around yo we ain't see gyms in a while isn't as big because you see me every other day I'm literally in the month, in the two year gap, the nine month gap, the six month gap, I'm relevant because I'm a blogger that battle raps, a battle rapper that blogs, no matter how you wanna call it, I'm relevant in this game no matter what because I have this channel, because I blog, 
because of my personality, because of what I do here, my name is a part of battle rap. There's not a person, a fan, and, and this is not me fronting at all. This is me humbly and respectfully saying that there's not a fan, supporter, or anyone in battle rap that is a, that, that is a part of this culture that doesn't know who Jims is. Whether you say, Jims, Mr. Stop Being Dirty, the dude who got into the fights, the, no matter, the blogger, you could know me for four or five different reasons, but you know me, and that comes from me staying relevant without being in the ring. That is a big key to my success. Angry Fan is absolutely right, and I felt like energetic and adamant to speak on it because it's so accurate that it's, it, it's like being a media personality saved me in so many ways. Also because having a fan base built, so let's not even mention the fact that I've sold so much merchandise due to my great supporters on this channel that click the link in the bio and go and support me, whether it's a t-shirt, a sock, no matter what it is. I've been selling merchandise for over four years. You understand? I've built my Instagram and my Twitter, also the link in the bio, you can find that there, off of this. I don't, I, my, my name is it, it, known more and more because of my, I, 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 was, I was smart enough to put my personality out there. There was a lot of misconceptions on the kind of man I was, the kind of person I was, the kind of human being I was. Was I arrogant, cocky, too confident? Um, there was a time where I did the over, over aggressive bully thing or, or am I unapproachable or am I that? This channel helped you, you y'all know me. You know such a big part of me. I don't show you everything that nobody should. But I'm just saying, you know a lot about my life, whether it's dieting, whether it's a father of twins, um, how I go up to the cabin, my, my nature runs, my, my protect my peace, the, my, my, my weight loss journey, my, 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 my fitness regimen. You know what I'm saying? The, the books that I've read, the outlooks, how I see life. My, you got to know Jim. You got to know Jimmy. You got to know Jim's for real through this channel. It saved me because anyone had a misconception. Now, don't get me wrong. Some people, some people can see this channel still not like me, but it helped a lot for you to see me on this channel and get to know the real me. So when Cap says that being a media personality saved me, he's right. Salute to Angry Fan and what he does and his channel, his movement. You know, he, he's in his own lane. So, you know, salute to all the other bloggers, you know what I'm saying? From the, the Vadas, the Piper Boy Williams, even the Tony Bros, the Henny Mans. Uh, 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 man, just everybody, man. I don't want to forget anybody. You know, I fucks with all the op. It's all love. You know, DNA does his thing. Uh, um, you got, you know, like anybody who's on, listen. If you win it, I want to see you win more. If you get getting money, I want you to have more money. If you're successful, I want to see you more successful. That's the kind of man I am. I want to see you win. I want to see the next man succeed. And if there's ever a moment where I feel like you're doing more than me, I appreciate that too because then I can learn from you and start doing more for myself because that's the kind of person I am and that's how I look at life and you should too. Subscribe to the channel. Trust the process. Protect your peace. Stop being dirty.